Babette was a fisher gal, with jupin striped and cap in crimps she passed her days inside the halley, or catching little nimble shrimps yet she was sweet as flowers in May, with no professional bouquet Jacob was, of the customs bold, an officer, at Gable Oin, he loved Babette, his love he told, and sighed, oh, so I es vu my own. But non, said she, Jacob, my pet, vu et es trop scraggy poor Babette. Of one alone I nightly dream, an able mariner is he, and gaily serves the general steamboat navigation company. I'll marry him, if he but will his name, I rather think, is Bill. I see him when he's not aware, upon our hospitable coast, reclining with an easy air upon the port against a post, a thinking of, I'll dare to say, his native Chelsea far away. Oh, mun! exclaimed the customs bold, mayor. He said, which means my eye, oh, share. He also cried, I'm told, par Jove, he added, with a sigh. Oh, mun! Oh, share! Mayor, par Jove je n'aime pas cet enticing cove. The panther's captain stood hard by, he was a man of morals strict if e'er a sailor winked his eye, straightway he had that sailor licked, mast-headed all, such was his code who dashed or jiggered, blessed or blowed he wept to think a tar of his should lean so gracefully on posts, he sighed and sobbed to think of this, on foreign, French, and friendly coasts. It's human nature, perhaps, if so, oh, isn't human nature low? He called his Bill, who pulled his curl, he said, my Bill, I understand you've captivated some young girl on this here French and foreign land, her tender heart your beauties jog they do, you know they do, you dog. You have a graceful way, I learn of leaning airily on posts, by which you've been and caused to burn a tender flame on these here coasts say Fisher girl, I much regret, her age, sixteen, her name, Babette, you'll marry her, you gentle tar your union I myself will bless, and when you matrimony da, I will appoint her stewardess, but William hitched himself and sighed, and cleared his throat, and thus replied, not so, unless you're fond of strife, you'd better mind your own affairs. I have an able-bodied wife awaiting me at whopping stairs, if all this here to her I tell, she'll larrup you and me as well. Skin deep, and valued at a pin, is beauty such as Venus owns her beauty is beneath her skin, and lies in layers on her bones, the other sailors of the crew they always calls her whopping sue. Uh ho! The captain said, I see and is she then so very strong? She'd take your honours, scruff, said he and pitch you over to Bolong. I pardon you the captain said, the fair Babette you needn't wed. Perhaps the customs had his will, and coaxed the scornful girl to wed, perhaps the captain and his bill, and William's little wife are dead, or perhaps they're all alive and well I cannot, cannot, cannot tell.